Hey guys, in this video today, I'm going to show you how I install Linux on all of my servers in parallel with a single command and without even touching them. So I just need to provide some basic information like desired IP address, MAC address and stuff like that. I will open the tools container which includes all of the tools that I need, change the directory to metal and I just need to run a single make boot command and it will download the ISO file for Rocky Linux, extract it and render all of the configuration files. After that, it will create an ephemeral pixie server in Docker containers on the same machine that I'm running the Mac command. And it will turn on the machines via wake on LAN without me even touching the power button. So now all machines gonna boot up and get all the files that they need from the pixie server instead of from a USB key like usual. So if you install Linux on your server using a USB key, you need to do that over and over on each of your server. Like download the ISO file, put it in a USB key, plug it in one of your server and then go through the installation process. It's gonna take me about 50 minutes to do that on one server. I have four of them, it's gonna take me about an hour to do so. Because I'm experimenting with my home lab a lot, I want to have a way to reset everything to the initial state to have a clean OS. I can fast forward this section, but I want to keep it in real time so you can have an idea of how long it's going to take when you actually do it on your own home lab. Thank you. 
So now, as you can see, it's rebooting to the new system. We are now in the new system. I will SSH into one of them and show you the uptime. So as you can see the uptime is less than a minute to go. And I will show you the installation date. This is the installation date. Oh, actually, that's not the installation date. This is the installation date, which is today, a few minutes ago. And I will show you the current date on the system. which is also the correct date. And I can run the same command on all four of my servers using Ansible console. Uptime dash P about a minute ago. And the installation date is also Roughly the same. So that's the demo and here's the tutorial. So you can go to my project on GitHub and click the fork button. So this is my project so I won't fork it again. And you can go to the official documentation and go to the prerequisites section. There are three important sections. The initial controller, you're gonna need a Linux machine, it can be your desktop or laptop. And the BIOS setup section, most BIOS should have this enabled by default, but you should double check it. And the next thing is to gather some information like MAC address, desired IP address, and this name, network interface. And then you can clone a project, you can replace my name with your name. After that, open the inventory in metal slash inventory slash prod.yaml. You can change the host name to anything you like. You can update the Ansible host to the desired IP address, which match your network setup. You can update the MAC address to something match your servers. And you can update the disk. It can be something like NVMe 0 and N1. And the network interface, it can be something like ETH 0. So after that, save the file and open the tools container and CD metal. And you can run make boot. So it will download Rocky Linux ISO file. It's gonna take a little bit to download. The remaining steps gonna be the same with the beginning of the video, so I will stop it here. Hope you can implement this in your home lab and save a lot of time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.